So although there is a genetic component of developing type 2 diabetes, it doesn't mean that someone is destined to have it, and it can be prevented with healthy lifestyle choices. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Young. I'm an endocrinologist, and I'm TikTok creator Matt Endo. So if you've been diagnosed with prediabetes, I know it can be scary. I know that you're going to worry about developing type 2 diabetes. I want you to know that it is something that you can manage and that by maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and maintaining a healthy weight, that you should be able to prevent the progression. Some of the lifestyle choices that can be made to include eating a healthy diet, and that means one that is low in processed food, low in simple carbohydrates, and high in whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats, and also high in fiber and adequate hydration. In addition to healthy diet, physical activity is important, so getting enough exercise. And general recommendation is at least 150 minutes a week. It's important to find something that you enjoy so that you look forward to doing it. Because if you're just exercising because you should, then you'll do that for a little while. But if you hate it, you're going to stop doing it. I like line dancing. And there's a line dancing class at my gym that's every Friday afternoon. and I very often will just schedule my day around that because I enjoy it so much. You need to decide, do you like the alone time? Do you like doing things to music? Do you like competition? If you like playing against other people, then maybe tennis or pickleball or basketball is for you. But it's important to find something that you like so that you want to do it all the time. You might find that it's hard, things might hurt, you might get tired easily because you're not used to exercising. As you do it, it's going to be easier because your stamina is going to get better. Your muscles are going to be stronger. You're going to you'll build those muscles, those tissues around the joints so it actually stabilizes your joints. Plus, by exercising and maintaining your muscle mass and maintaining a healthy weight, the chances of you developing type 2 diabetes or high blood pressure or high cholesterol are a lot lower when you maintain good physical activity. We live in a time when a lot of people spend time sitting down. There's actually an article not too long ago that showed that sitting is almost equivalent to cigarette smoking, that it increases the risk of an early mortality, dying earlier, and that people who get physical activity are less likely to die of cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. So it's important to get physical activity. And that includes just walking from your car from the end of the parking lot to wherever you're going. But it's also important to get cardio and resistance training because you get different benefits from each. Cardio can be running, walking, swimming, dancing, but it's important that you find something that you enjoy. So when people lose weight in a healthy way, and if they're losing fat tissue, adipose tissue, those substances that the fat tissue creates decrease and therefore that leads to an improvement in insulin resistance, and that's part of the reason why there's a decrease in the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Adipose tissue is the scientific word for fat tissues. When those adipose cells, those fat cells grow, they release substances that then lead to insulin resistance, so it keeps the body from using insulin efficiently, which then leads to type 2 diabetes. It also is pro-inflammatory, so it increases the risk of fatty liver disease and other abnormalities in the body that lead to high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and type 2 diabetes. I wish that people knew that they could prevent diabetes from a young age. A lot of times I see patients tell me that they have to keep snacks in the home, not for them, but for their kids. I tell them, but then your kids learn that that's normal behavior that having the snack foods and the junk food around the house is how people are supposed to live, and that it's only when you get diabetes that you're supposed to start dieting. I wish people knew that we have to start early to prevent it, because once you have it, treating it is so much harder. So if our younger generation just knew that eating healthy food is normal and exercise is normal behavior, and this is what people do all the time, then 30 years from now, they won't be sitting in a doctor's office like mine. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please continue to visit Healthline and like and subscribe.